Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker Dean Harp Realtors. Well, once again, I'm at the wonderful one acre lot community of Vintage Oaks in New Braunfels, Texas. The house behind me is being built by Grand Endeavor, it's a cottonwood plan, for one of my clients. And I want to do a new construction follow up tour so they can see what the house is looking like as of early January 2023. Let's go check it out. All right, definitely coming along compared to the last time I did a video tour of this house. It was just in framing at the time. There's my beautiful Tiger 900. Uh, construction is going on still, so yeah, I've got some equipment here. But yeah, definitely love this community, love the amenities, and I love the low tax rate of around 1.8 for this. So uh, yeah, no steps on the front yet, so I'm about to sneak in through the garage, and I'll let's keep the video going. All right, now I'm up on the back on the front porch which is a good sized front porch. Well, it's gonna have a nice view from the front porch too, looking out over the beautiful Texas Hill Country. Now, uh, earlier I just finished doing a video of the new community, the preserves of Elm Creek, which is gonna be just out that back area. So I got on my motorcycle, did a tour of that. So if you haven't seen it, that's gonna be a Grand Endeavor only community just outside of Vintage Oaks. But let's talk about this house more. Here's the office. Love the tall ceilings. And Grand Endeavor, they do semi-custom homes. They can do custom, but they, this is the Cottonwood plan. And they've made some more change, a few changes to it. One of it was they went with the vaulted ceilings. Highly recommend that. It's not that expensive, but man, does it make the house feel so much bigger and grander. And they went with the sliding wall doors. Uh, Grand Endeavor, it's a lot less expensive with Grand Endeavor to those doors than other builders. So uh, that's a nice plus. This wall is gonna be so neat with some built-ins. They've got the uh, fireplace down below. Now, back here, um, they've made some changes with placement of some doors because my client's got a nice group of kids. So we've got four bedrooms back here, all on this side. So this is one of the bedrooms. Oh, they got some built-ins going. That's nice. And this is gonna be a neat little community area so yeah i can see setting up a couch and playing some video games on there and the kids can have their space nice closet a really good sized bathroom it's gonna have a tub shower combo another bedroom a lot like the last bedroom we were just in A little tray ceiling, a lot of can lights going up in there too. And this bedroom's gonna be a little bit different. Because it's got a little bit different closet there. A little more of a walk-in closet. And it's gonna have kind of a Jack and Jill bathroom set up with the other bedroom. So they're gonna have their own the sink there. A mud inset shower, which is nice, and another sink, and I'm assuming they're gonna be putting a door right here. And, uh, or no, that's not gonna be another sink, that's the toilet right there. So, maybe they're not putting a door in. Okay, now we find ourselves in the fourth bedroom. Well, they got a list of the wall at bedroom two. But another uh, walk-in uh, closet. See, they're getting the baseboards already going up here, too. Kicking some stuff. They got eight foot doors throughout. We're back in the communal area, and this area is going to have own private access to the back porch area. Let's go and check that out. Okay, these are all one acre lots, like I mentioned before. So, they've got lots of space on this back patio. And on the other side of this fence here, that's going to be 
Not sure if that's going to be the preserves or if that's going to be an open space for a little bit and then a preserves. I have to look on a map. But yeah, this is going to be a uh, nice space. They can put a pool in, they can do whatever they want because their property goes all the way up to that fence line there. It's a really wide property as well. So I can see on days like this, it's mid 70s as it is early January 2023. It's normally not this warm in January, We're usually in the 60s, but uh, we should be getting back to the 60s here real soon. And then another cold front I'm sure will come down the road. All right, back to the main section of the house. Big, big kitchen. Gonna have a giant island right there. And then all the cabinets and there's where your gas cooktop's gonna be. This is a gas community and a really good sized pantry. Oh, one of the things I love, this is the breakfast nook dining room area combo. You don't need both and to, my, to me. It's like I've not seen a lot of formal dining rooms coming in. So anymore, it's just a big waste of space. That's in my opinion, but man, this window is impressive. This is a big square single glass window perfect for looking out of the beautiful texas hill country got a really nice mud room set up your laundry room looks like we got some shelves in there and let's check out this three car garage all right this is a big three car garage they got a little knock nook nook set up over there so if you want the husband wanted or wife wanted to have a tool section set up and a workbench they could get yeah, full three bays two together and then one tall ceilings like they got plenty of light in here so yeah that's gonna be really nice and let's go into the master bedroom once again lots of light tall ceilings a lot that big square bay window looking out at their live oak trees very nice but plenty of space in here and i really like how they set up the access to the bathroom with the little corner doors but yeah check this out this bathroom is going to be a showstopper you have dual vanities set up on this wall Looks like there's going to be a bathtub set up over here, or at least they say so. But I'm not sure if they're going to do that because I don't see the plumbing. But man, this shower is going to be a massive, what I call a car wash shower. Can you go in and uh, be able to come out on this side? Looks like they got some wetness down there, so I'm not going to walk on it. And a couple of shower heads and a lot of natural light. The spray foam insulation on the outside can make this house uh, quite insulated. Very nicely done. I'm not sure if the spray foam is all the way through. I'll have to ask on all exterior walls or just the bathroom. I have to ask the builder that because if they are doing spray foam on all exterior walls, man, that does a wonderful job of keeping utility bills down. It's gonna be the uh, water closet there. And this is something that for the Cottonwood plan, you have an option of putting this extra big closet in it. And uh, yeah, my clients jumped on that and said, yes, we want the extra big closet. So yeah, this is a really good sized closet with your shoe rack and everything. And then coming back to the master bedroom, like we got pre-wired for their TV. I'm super excited to see how this house finishes up. Like I said, this is the Cottonwood plan being built by Grand Endeavor. And uh, I was told in the preserve section, they are gonna be building a Cottonwood plan as a spec home. More to come on that. So yeah, very nice. All right, let's gonna wrap the tour of this beautiful home being built by Grand Endeavor in the Vintage Oaks community, New Braunfels, Texas. If you got any questions about the builder, 
uh, the new preserve area where they're going to be building all Grand Endeavor homes or Vintage Oaks or even questions about moving to the community or just the general area, New Braunfels, Bulverde, Bernie, I can do all that. I'm a local real estate agent. I do these videos for my clients and to showcase what I can do for you guys if you want to use me as your realtor. So yeah, feel free to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and keep sharing these videos with your friends and family. All right, take care now. Bye.